moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel. And the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. carry now this is Johnson and he'll push his way forward to about the 32 five yards on the carry good pickup on first down for Johnson if you remember back before the year he said he wanted a thousand yards rushing and receiving well he came close in rushing 940 didn't even get halfway there though that's caught inside the 20 touchdown Cardinals Larry Fitzgerald 68 yards and the Cardinals have taken the early lead. Not a bad way to start it. And I think that that was part of their script because so many teams script their opening possessions. And, and whether it's just that possession or even deeper into the half, sometimes it's 15 to 30 plays. That had to be one in there where they call a shot play. Go for the big one, and they got it done. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. He finds an opening past the 40. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye, past the 20. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. A big run there by Gurley, 73 yards. So Gurley gashes the defense, and a lot of people say, do you take running backs early first round? Do you want them that high? Surely you're happy you took Todd Gurley that early. Without a doubt, Dr. Sims. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Todd Gurley taking it in from two yards out. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will shave one more off this lead. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. While we have a second here, let's peek back to the Super Bowl. The lowest scoring Super Bowl, Charles, in history, 13 to three. And it took us 53 minutes to get our first touchdown of Super Bowl 53. Can you believe they went into the half, three to nothing, New England, Stephen Goskowski with a field goal. Detroit. Then they finally tie it up with Greg Zerline at the end of three quarters of the Rams right, knocking one through the Great. post. The Patriots, the third team to win the year after losing the Super Bowl, the first since the Dolphins in 1972. And, of course, the big number now for New England, six titles, and they are tied with the Steelers for the most ever. Off the play fake, here's Rosen. Airing this one out for Fitzgerald. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, you've got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there, wanting to continue to go to the guys already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Rosen. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out, and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Rams will go on offense here 
with a first and ten. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll be a loss of one. And it'll be second and 11. From the gun, here's Gall. He'll throw underneath for Gurley. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's a gain of six on the play. And they're going to have a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Goff now looking to throw. Man open, it's Cup. He's got it. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. On first down, it's Gurley. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. From the 50, it's gone. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. They give him a gain of 38. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Rams are in for six. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well that they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run. And usually the connection is perfect. Charles, a bit earlier, we talked about Josh Rosen's rookie campaign. Let's take a step back, look at Arizona collectively. You know, they're going to be picking number one overall in the draft for the first time since 1958 by virtue of their 3-13 and 13 finish. Where do you see them going with that number one pick? I think that their general manager will announce, as the general manager of Tennessee did a few seasons ago, that we're open for business. Call us, let's talk, because I think that they would not mind getting out of the number one pick they can bundle together some players to help them with the progress of their young quarterback, Josh Rosen. That's who they need to build around. He's their future. Make sure he stays upright. Make sure he has weapons to throw to. That's where the Cardinals are going to go. So I don't know if they're going to be stuck on just taking one guy. They may want to turn that into a few players. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Rosen. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Before this next drive gets going, we need to discuss the Hall of Fame inductees. There will be eight in the 2019 class. We got Champ Bailey, Tony Gonzalez, Ty Law. Who, who else am I forgetting in there? Well, how about a big guy, a lineman, Kevin Mawai, who was absolutely terrific in his career. How about Ed Reed with the Baltimore Ravens and the great job he did in the secondary there? Pat Bowen, Gil Brandt as contributors. The and he's going to go down. They get to him back at the fourth. Dayon Buchanan in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. He got 29 yards that time. Goff in the offense with a first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. They'll run it now out of the gun. 
He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the power run out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Here's goal. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there, and it's third and short. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward incomplete. And he's got it. That's Cup for a Ram touchdown. In for the score. And the Rams add on to their lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touch. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. His throw incomplete. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare yeah, them to do that? I was going to ask you, maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film <laughs> to try something from the 15 on the PAT? I the, don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Well, off topic, but we'd be remiss if we didn't point out what else was happening Super Bowl weekend, the Madden 19 Club Championship, second major this season, two more to follow, and our winner, Pauvin, representing the Oakland Raiders. He took down the Vikings and your favorite, Charles, Ivy Strafen. He had to reach for the Ivy Profen after a 38-24 to <laughs> beat down in the final. Well, you know if he was representing the Oakland Raiders, the Vikings went down, and they went down hard. That's how the Raiders do it. Yeah, baby. Woo. Single receiver, single receiver. Hey, you're in an island over there. Single receiver. Set. Boom, landed. On second down, Rosen. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. It'll be a two-yard game, and that'll bring up a third down. Now it's Rosen. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Dante Fowler coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Fielded just inside the 30. 12 yards on the return that time, and out will come the offense as they take over. The football going back over to the Rams here, and you think back to that Super Bowl, so they... Average almost 33 points a game during the regular season. Then they get to the Super Bowl in the first half. Six drives, six punts, and of course, they only muster three points all game long. The punter, Johnny Hecker, had quite the workout, didn't he? He ended up going eight straight drives where he ran on the field and punted the football before a third quarter field goal on drive number nine. There were times during the season he didn't punt it eight times in a three-game span. So that was very unusual, but let's look at the positives for them. They were 4-12 in 2016 were the Rams. They were in the Super Bowl after the 2018 season. That's pretty significant. Yeah, and they'll get Cooper Cup back next year as well and have a lot of the pieces back to make. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. The Sam Reddick leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. A play fake to Gurley, now gone. He goes full extension, and he's got it. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw...